wonder working power in the blood in the blood of the lamb oh would you be free from your of sin the power in the blood power in the blood don't you want it Amen. hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus yeah glory glory hallelujah teaches you can't live free from sin Jesus said you can. If anyone will come after me, let him first deny himself and take up the cross. And follow me every day. Follow me daily. And he cannot commit sin. It's right there in the Bible. And that's what God wants. This church stuff. Don't get it. He said, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the scams, the wise, of the devil. For we wrestle. You know what you fight? We rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the dark of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. And I believe that's in most of the churches. Because what are you talking about? Almost every denomination is a different doctrine. If they one Lord, the Bible said they one Lord, one faith, one baptism. How can we have all these different on, doctrines? Hallelujah! Somebody is wrong, and it ain't God. And to me, I don't know what Bible you got. I got the King James, and the King James Bible ain't wrong. It's perfect. And there's two or three out there. But these modern day Bibles that don't, most Bibles now, they don't say Holy Ghost no more, it's Holy Spirit. But in the King James, it's Holy Spirit mentioned three times. This time it's Holy Ghost. I mean, well, it don't make no difference. I can prove that right now and I do everywhere I go. Put your hand on your throat. Say Holy Spirit. Now say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. you Adam's apple, that's what we call it in Alabama when I was born. It's Adam's apple. You feel the old Adam that we're talking. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So he said, for we wrath. And that's what people are fighting. The wrath or not, it's not something you see. Against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood is something you see. But it's the whole world, especially, is Full of evil, principalities, and powers, and rulers, and the darkness of the world. And even Jesus Himself said, Come out of the world and be you separated. And touch not, and taste not, and handle not. Nothing else. Thank God. If anybody, Jesus Himself said, If anybody will. Follow after me. Let him deny himself every day and take up his cross and follow me. And he went on to say a little more. That if you don't, you cannot what? Cannot what? Enter into what? The kingdom of God. See, the real move of God is the kingdom. Now, we know there's a world up yonder, but he's talking about the kingdom of of the Spirit of God. We got right here. Is a, the kingdom of God is right in this church right now. Yes. Can't you feel it? Yes. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love it. And if you yield to the Holy Ghost. Bible said you yield to the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And when you fight in something, he said here in 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against powers, meaning of the world, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Right now, we've never, in my time, and I've been in over 200 countries Jesus. since it's somewhere between 19 years old to 24. 24, I was, I knew that we was had uh, the biggest tent in the world. And I was going all over the world, so I, I started somewhere three or four years under that. Started out with the assemblies, but they in the church of God, I belong to both of them. But they want me to do preach it their way. I said, No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to preach it the Bible way. Come on. 
so they turned me out just before I got started. And I, I was a street preacher. Where I started out. Well, I had to go back to the street for six months because I wasn't going to compromise with the Assemblies of God, with the Church of God, and the Pentecostal holders. I said, I'm going to. And during that time, the world opened up for this gospel. See, there ain't but one way. The Bible said there's one way, one truth, one life. And if anybody what? Climbs up what? Any other way. You're a preacher. He's a thief and a robber. Come out as a thief. You climb up anywhere outside of the door. Jesus is the door. That's right. That's why the churches ain't getting no work. That's when you go to these churches on Sundays, you see the men with them short britches on, women with their shorts on. You know it's a truth. It's, it's a shame. First place, a woman not to wear nothing that didn't say a man's clothes, said that looks like a man or pertains. And if any woman does that, that her pants are what it is, didn't say to be but said like a man, didn't say it was a man's clothes. Said Jesus said, the gospel said two thousand years ago, it's abomination. Ain't it in there? Yeah. And if it's abomination, if you read the Bible, nobody that's committing abomination is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now that's a little hard, but it's better to tell you the truth because God ain't going to pat you on your butt and say, do what you want to, come on in. And he ain't going to pat nobody else. You're going to have to lay down just like I did. Everything, I was a, a top man in the Grand Opera, but I laid it all down to give my life to Jesus Christ. And I don't regret, even though I was on the streets for a while, but that was to test my faith. Hallelujah. Now we reached over 200 countries and plan to reach the rest of them. But this is the hour that religion won't save you. Church won't save you. But the Holy Scriptures will save you. Whether you like it or not, you got to get out of the world. God ain't going to put God, the Holy Ghost in you. And He's not going to wash your sins away till you get out of the world. Because if, if you don't come out of the world and He uh, wash your sins away tonight, you'll be done committing them sins again before daylight in the morning. Or before noon. You know it's the truth. The only thing keep you from sin is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Be saved by the washing of the water of the word of the blood of Jesus and that will get sin out of your life get the devil out of your life get it out of your uh, home get it out of your body hallelujah and he said you're free from sin to be and said he you're free from you're free from sin you're free from it I don't care what these low down churches say nobody can live without sin they the ones that ain't doing it you can't live without sin because God makes you free from sin oh hallelujah go in something's happening God pulling you Oh, I can just see in the Holy Ghost. They were packing his suitcase in some of your homes and getting out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the devil packing his suitcase. He's going to get out of your home. He can't stay in your home. He can't, he can't rule it. Oh, hallelujah. He can't smoke, chew tobacco, lie and steal. Oh, hallelujah. He's packing up, going where he can. For Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow, and forever. And if you don't believe it, you go to hell. He's right now what he was 2,000 years ago, and he's still the same. That's yesterday. And tomorrow. If he lived to be another 100 years, another 20 years, another 1,000 years, he's still going to be Lord of Lord. Oh, glory. If you come in the morning for the morning, you may not want this kind, but this kind I got. 
I said, just crying out, God. I don't know no other Norton. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. 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 Lord, shout. Don't it? You can't serve Jesus Christ. You know there's an antichrist out there. Bible warns you about the antichrist. There's an antichrist spirit out there. I said there's an antichrist spirit out there. Glory. He said come out of the world. Be separated. Glory. Hallelujah. Open up your soul, open up your heart. Enter through the gate. I said, enter through the gate. Straight in the gate. Narrow the way. You said, yeah, but ain't many people finding it. Few that be 